20 billion dollars. Billion what? up for grabs. Wow. This far you heard. And I'm not talking about a lottery. This is how much missing money is waiting to be claimed in Australia. To find out if you can get your hands on some of that cash, we are joined by the Sydney Morning Herald and the Age columnist Joel Gibson in Sydney. Morning, Joel. Why is there so much missing money out there? It's extraordinary, isn't it? But look, it's so easy for it to happen. Every time you move house, uh, change address, uh, you know, people change their names, people pass away, and all of these can be trigger events for money that's meant to come to you, never arriving with you. And there are fail-safe uh, uh, rules in place that say that if an account is inactive for a certain period of time or that money doesn't make it to you, it goes to government, for example, or it goes to the ATO, but then you've got to go and claim it back. So you just got to remember there are three big pots to check. The first is governments. They're, they're holding uh, some, something like sort of $2 billion in unclaimed money. Uh, the second one is the ATO. It's holding $13 billion in lost super at the moment. And the third one uh, we're going to look at today is the banks, who are, uh, put aside $5 billion for what they call consumer remediation after the Royal Commission. Mm. How can we get that cash, Joel? Well, that's the $64,000 question, oh, isn't more it? more than okay. $64,000. There's billions there, Joel. OK. <laughs> well, let's look first of all at governments and the ATO. There's only three searches you have to do, and literally each one takes a couple of minutes, right? So ASIC has a page. If you search ASIC unclaimed money, they have a search where you can see whether the federal government's holding any money for you. The ATO, they have a search facility to see if there's any lost or unclaimed super that you've forgotten about or missed out on. And you can look at that in your MyGov account or via the ATO website. And the third place to look is state governments. If the state government's holding any unclaimed money for you, your own state government will have a website where you can search for unclaimed money. And you can even search on behalf of other people, on behalf of other people in the family, for example. I did a quick search uh, for a couple of famous names, uh, Kevin Rudd and Scott Morrison, for example, and here's what I found. Uh, there's something $2,300 from AMP sitting there for the Prime Minister, 1500 bucks from PayPal there for Mr Rudd. Oh. And I even looked for uh, David Campbell and Jane as a party, and I'm, I'm excited to tell you, David, there are up to 50 claims for David Campbell's available out there. What? Unfortunately, I, I don't think any of them is you. And, Jane, unfortunately, there is another Jane as a party who spells her name differently. There's a claim out there for her, oh. but I couldn't find anything we're for like, you either. We're out. Oh. We're out. OK, well, what about the banks? There's got to be an easy way for us to get our money back from them. Sure. This is a slightly different process because this is a different scenario. The Banking Royal Commission uh, in 2018 revealed all sorts of dodgy practices in the banking industry, the selling of junk insurance, uh, dodgy financial advice fees. So banks have put aside $5 billion in refunds, but we have to go and claim it back. And so there's three different ways you can do that. You can contact the bank yourself and ask them for all your documents, comb through them and see if you've paid for any of these dodgy add-on insurance policies, for example. You can join one of the big, big class actions that are currently underfoot against most of the major banks. You'll probably already know if you're part of one of those class actions because they have to proactively contact you. Um, and you can also use uh, one of these consumer remediation services that, that have sprung up since the Royal Commission. There's probably half a dozen of them. I've done some work with, with one of them this year, remediator.com. So I know for a fact that their average claim has been over $2,000 in the past year. I recently saw one over over $25,000. So there's big bickies out there. They're all doing a great job and any of those options will help you to find out if the bank owes you thousands of dollars in refunds. Mm. Apart from dying suddenly, what can we do to avoid this altogether? <laughs> Look, just keep your, keep your details up to date is the most important thing. Obviously, every time you, you move address, make sure you notify everybody. Do these searches once a year just to make sure you haven't lost track of something. And for goodness sake, consolidate your super. That's the big one. $13 billion in lost and unclaimed super just waiting there for us to go and see if it's ours. All right, Joel. Hi, Joel. Well, you know, Jane and I thought we were going to get some I know. money out of this segment. But Nothing for me. So... Sorry to disappoint you guys. Unless I change the way I spell my name. You, yeah, you should do that. <laughs> I could, I could yeah, do that. Right. Thanks, Joel.